Welcome to Sharkcast, the Brandon Sanderson podcast. We're a bunch of mega fans giving you the news discussion. And of course, a whole lot of opinions about Brandon's works and the Cosmere. I'm Eric and joining me is Ian. Hi, I'm Weary Rider. Hi. Uh, also <laughs> joining us is David. Hi, I am Windrunner coming to you non-sequentially. Yeah, yeah. Shh, shh. That's not seamless now, David. <laughs> <laughs> and we also got Grace. Hey, I'm Gator Girl. And lastly, but definitely not least, is Evgeny. Hello, it's still me, Batman. <laughs> Bat Herald. My name is Bruce Argent. I thought you were going to go with the Herald joke, but okay. And I am Chaos, and so last time we told you we were going to do uh, Oath Pact and Heralds, but we ended up just doing Oath Pact and Desolation stuff because this episode was got really long. And so we're actually splitting it into two, like the good old days, uh, where we're, we're, we're getting into Herald stuff in uh, Rhythm of War. So let's just get right on into it. We got quite a bit of new Herald uh, and Oath Pact stuff with them. Uh, we did do a full Ishar episode, so you can go check that out. There's a lot of Ishar stuff, so you can go check that out. Uh, I'll have the little link at the upper left or something. Uh, it's where you can click it. Yeah, we have Kalak. Uh, I mean, Kalak's in the story, but we also get epigraphs uh, written by Harold, and there's some juicy stuff, probably most notably Jezrian's Super Dead. Super dead. He's gone for good. I liked how we kind of like got the death and they were like, oh, he's dead. And then we sort of got like, well, maybe they put him in the gemstone. Is he dead? And then they went back and they're like, nope, like for real dead. <laughs> well, and they, even weren't there wobs hope a back. Where, where Brandon was like, no, no, he's dead, dead. Like before Rhythm he's, of War? He said that, but he never had. We didn't know that he'd been trapped at any point. So then, and sure. you know, Brandon is also wrong in wobs. So initially yeah, right, right, when right. I started reading it, I was like, oh, maybe Brandon is not so correct yeah it, eventually he got dead dead yeah he got yeah. trapped in a gemstone and then just faded away Rip. Um, i feel like for harold's probably kind of a relief I yeah mean, yeah i mean you're not a lot certainly I, thought so I, I, yeah there's there's line like yeah he faded over the weeks and is gone now beyond your touch at long last ouch I mean, the heralds have existed way too long, and it, it, look, praise does not sound fun. The torture does not sound fun. Let's, let's take a hard pass on that. And, yeah. and Rashar probably wasn't all that much fun either when they were on Rashar. No. Like, that's also not, it's not a day at the beach, like, training people for, like, an extinction level war. <laughs> yeah. Strictly better, but not fun. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> not by much. Not That'll by wear you down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm probably near the last desolation. Just thinking about how the heralds must have felt. It's like, wow, this sucks. We're screwed. And with Jezrian's death, Oath Pact is dead. Um, I do want to read the exact thing from the from the part four epigraph because it's it. it's an interesting. Uh, so Kalak tells us that uh, Jezrian is finally dead. And he then goes on to say, the Oath Pact was broken already, but the connection remained. Each of us can send the others to an extent, uh, blah, 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 blah. It felt like a death first, but it's eventually what it became. And it is, there's more, and we'll talk about it. But what is notable here to me is that uh, Kalak says that the Oath Pact was broken already, which refers to what they did in the last desolation but the connection remained and, and that is presumably like the connections that the the heralds mm -hmm. share with each other the, the thing that when when dalinar sees the oath pact he's not seeing the oath pact he's seeing the connections between the heralds right and mm -hmm. th there's another epigraph it's like the bond is what keeps us alive you sever that and we will slowly decompose into ordinary souls with no valid connection to the physical or spiritual realm. So it's like, yep. Mm -hmm. I think it is interesting, though, because you, when he says, like, oh, you know, the Oath Pack was broken, the connection remained, Jezrian, when Dalinar sees those connections, Jezrian is dead, and the connection, a connection, does still remain. He can still see 
what I guess is the ghost of the Yoth Pact. Like, I don't really know, but it's interesting that he, I wonder what meaningfully changed between when he says the connection remained and now the connection doesn't remain when Jezreen is dead. Yeah, that, this whole Dalinar touching nail scene is just super cool. Uh, <laughs> like, what a great scene. The stuff about the connection is what keeps us, or the bond is what keeps us ar- mm. alive reminds me a lot of like the Nahal bond. Mm. And this idea that yeah, like the Nahal bond stains Spren in the physical realm and gives right. them minds. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, I think that's a really reasonable sort of analogy that yeah. you sort of need those connections to the realm that you want to be in, I guess, kind of. I've been trying to draw a parallel between this and what happens with Kelsier and how he gets dunked into into the well. Um, I was going to say the well of preservation, and then I was going to change that to the well of eternity. And I'm like, mm, we'll get there one day. Well of ascension. Because um, he is he's a cognitive shadow mm-hmm. with presumably no... Valid, valid bonds to the physical realm, but a valid bond to the spiritual, right? Because he hasn't, he's not gone, gone, would be my assumption. Are you talking about when he's trapped in the well, or are you talking about just in general? Mm-hmm. Just in general. Okay. It's hard for me to imagine something not having a connection to the spiritual realm. Like, how is that even Cosmere possible? You know? Yeah, I guess in right. my head, he, he's got what he's got is a bunch of investiture that keeps that, I guess, is now in the form of his soul or is his soul, depending on your mm-hmm. particular belief, that is, that is self sustaining. And if you drop below that amount, it'll just kind of evaporate or go to the beyond, essentially. Yeah. Because what I was kind of thinking that was interesting was Kelsier was initially, he did have a very strong connection to the well that he couldn't leave. And that eventually, when the power was used, went away. And he remained, like he soaked up something that he remained around. But when the Heralds lose that connection, they fade away. They don't persist like Kelsier got to, which I think yeah. is an interesting distinction. So a couple points he, I want to make is we do know that originally with the honor blades the heralds were powered directly by honor yeah mm-hmm. yeah and there's also a line here that Kalak has like you you think you captured him but our god is splintered our oath pact is severed he faded over the weeks so i wonder like death's um honor's death i think also plays a role in this mm. that potentially like if honor was still alive, like they would be able to persist in mm. the that's an in, interesting in a gem. idea. But since like he he is dead, he's the first member of the Oath Pack to die, more or less. <laughs> that like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in a sense, yeah. I suppose that right now, like the heralds are only persisting because they've kind of hacked the system. It's like they're only valid connections are with each other right sure so like individually like no like they all have a valid connection so like they're not feeling the pull to beyond it's like a precarious balance so it's like i wonder if like eight more heralds die or however many like until there's only one left like how long will they stay around i that's a good question i would make a distinction there that Mm -hmm. i think if Right now, with the remaining nine heralds, we could like, you know, pull away the cobwebs that are the remaining, the remnants of the oath pack that are still faintly holding them together. Mm-hmm. They they wouldn't just die because they have no connection to each other or honor. They're in bodies, and so yeah, it would as long be, as they're yeah, yeah, what one hundred percent like as long as they mm-hmm. if they have a body, they have a body and they're alive. Yeah, it's just whether yeah, the body dies. Just, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which is. Very interesting in terms of like cognitive shadow mechanics. We're like generally like in other instances, like once you're a cognitive shadow, that's what you are. Mm. Whereas like here, it's like it's kind of relying on like exterior things to maintain shadow status. Well, we Mm. also don't 
each each cognitive shadow we look at is is different totally from different. the rest. Yeah. That is a good point. Um, yeah. We outside of the fused, uh, we don't really have anyone who's been alive, quote unquote, alive for as long as the heralds have. Right, Kelsier mm -hmm. is on that path, but he is like in in one desolation uh, ballpark. Yeah, compared if that. to the rest. <laughs> Um, returned are different because they require investiture regularly, and the heralds very notably don't. Yeah. Well, well they well they yeah. don't, but they've got a connection to honor. Is that not? You know, they don't. They're not taking. That's a source of investiture potentially. You know, I, I don't think they're like drinking from that, like like through a straw. Yeah. I think they might be, but okay. <laughs> Can I just comment again about how weird this epigraph is about we'll slowly decompose into ordinary souls, which is just that in of itself is a weird way to phrase something Cosmere wise uh, with no valid connection to the physical or spiritual realms. And then they're like, ah, you capture us with their knives. You won't be left with Spren. You'll be left with a being that eventually fades into the beyond. I'm like. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but it's just the phrasing ordinary souls and not having connection to the physical or spiritual realm that I'm like. Well, I, I think the implication is an ordinary deceased soul. No, yeah, no, yeah. I totally agree. I totally agree. Yeah, that it just yeah. uh, like I, has the usual mechanics where it's pulling into the beyond. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, I think that's all it's trying to say is they just become they become but an ordinary soul again, just like anyone else who's died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is interesting about cognitive shadow status being removed almost. But it, mm -hmm. so that you can think about. Yeah. Oh, on that subject, it makes me think about Odium saying to Turash, don't disrespect me or I yeah. shall yeah. withdraw mm -hmm. that which grants you permanent life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like presumably that is revocable, and uh, yeah, I, I guess guess that makes sense. Uh, it, it's just kind of terrifying that you can just do this with a gemstone, you know. But maybe this, I, this I mean, like Spren wouldn't be affected in this similar way because yeah. they're pure investiture rather than shadows, right? Yeah, so. and it requires the knife, like, like I, I it, it's not like. You can't just like run up to a herald with a gemstone and like pose any threat other uh, than like I mean, what if you were a bondsmith? <laughs> Couldn't you do like similar bottomation shenanigans? Like you don't necessarily need the knife. <laughs> per se. Yeah, but I, mean, I like feel like a few of being a bondsmith is special circumstances. Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> being a bondsmith can get you a lot of things that's, that that's aren't true. normally that's certainly true. a thing. I I will say that one thing that does kind of, I, I don't think it's like necessarily a problem, but I always kind of go, leaves me stretching my head a little bit, is that we know the Fused used Razium weapons to like draw Stormlight out. Mm. And I'm like, would that not, if you stabbed a Herald with a Razium weapon and you do the Stormlight draw, I don't remember if they had gemstones specifically on the end, but I'm like, mm. it seems to me like, does, would that not suck a Herald soul right out of the body? Hmm. So I think with Razium, I, I'm reasonably sure there are gemstones. And if there aren't, like you can draw. So, so first of all, I think you need the right tone to like, you need to be singing Honor's tone to like draw Honor's light through race. Because Razium by itself is, it conducts investiture, but it doesn't naturally like draw it or... Or push it. But Moash didn't need to sing. Moash didn't need to and, sing. And counterpoint to that, David, uh, Jezrean was a drunkard, and they still were too scared to go after them himself and sent Moash. They might have just been like too scared to try this before. Yeah. Well, and also like yeah. they didn't. They're fighting them. Like you know, they're just like regular fighting. Like the heralds are killing fused, and I'm sure some of them have those weapons. Yeah. 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 Right. 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 Like, th there's also like that that is a very valid point in terms of like Weaponry. thinking too much on it like you there's there is an inconsistency here but they didn't know spren could be captured until badamishram until body so it's like I, I understand like why they, they didn't like logically like attempt to do it 
why it, it didn't takes, happen accidentally. It yeah, takes right. intention to do it. But, oh, Moash had no, inten- honestly, Moash had no yeah. intention. Moash had no intention. He just stabbed him with a knife. He had no idea what he was doing. I guess that's, that's, that's okay. That's when, a pretty good point. Yeah. When yeah. were Razium weapons created? Was it before? Could Razium weapons have been on Roshar before Odium invested in Roshar? I don't, before Odium invested, or, or like they, they used them in the some of the previous desolations. We know for sure they said yeah, that they do. were newer tools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they used in the last few. My my only thought is full power herald. Flush with stormlight. Maybe you draw the stormlight off the top, and they're connected to honor. So you're just like sucking stormlight out of it instead of their and souls. Maybe so if you're can... drawing it directly mm-hmm. from honor, that there's so much stormlight that is like this is a waste of time. Yeah, you're <laughs> not. You're just kind of pulling water out of a fire hydrant. And you're like, okay, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah I whereas, like, at least it, with the radiant, but... they they don't have the constant connection to honor. So maybe they did try it, and they're just like, yeah, whatever. This is pointless. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely think that's 100. percent it because like night blood like feeds off of any like breaths or investiture you have before like feeding on your oh, soul. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. That's soul. a good point. So like the oh, the herald like, knife, yeah, it would just yeah, kill or, Jezrian there because he didn't have it. Yeah, or the return like feeding eating through any like additional breath before the divine breath. Sure, that's a good yeah. point. It's a nice parallel. Yeah, and, I like that. Yeah. I wonder if Nail would be more resistant too. He would like he'd be harder to kill because he can actually draw stormlight and not, mm-hmm. you know, he won't have the honor amount, but he would be harder for them to mm-hmm. soul steal. He does have his honor blade. He does have, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if he's a full on herald though. He doesn't have the bright town line that ever. Like he's got the blade, but I don't know if he's really become a herald again. I think the I think the brightness, or at least my impression of the brightness of the lines was that. The, the weakness of the lines has always represented to me the the weakness of the oath pact when it comes to these heralds mm-hmm. and then and then Talon is strong in that regard yeah Maybe. also honor is dead i don't think you he you can like like I, I, is dead <laughs> tanavas is dead like there is no active like person on the other end to open the faucet for you <laughs> But how much you're do at, you like, need the you're faucet? You need the hose, like, th- and like the faucet is like on the side of the house, and you're like a hundred feet away. It's like you can't do that. I mean, because yeah, I, I do think like that. I don't think that was a passive thing. That I think that was honor was granting them investiture actively. Maybe. I I will Somewhat. say that I that I think that for for nail I. He may have his honor blade. Maybe he can still somehow draw Stormlight from honor. I kind of am dubious of that, but I don't think he's become a full herald again, because if he had, then he would have been a herald on Rashar, and the desolation would have triggered because he would have been Mm -hmm. one of the counted heralds again. So he's got his blade back, but I don't think he's done all of the heraldy stuff to like make himself. Maybe, maybe he literally, so I, I I have so many thoughts. This is a very interesting line of uh, (laughs) questioning. First of all, like clearly with that epigraph about our god being splintered and the oath pack severed, like there's definitely room for honor being dead to matter in how the heralds function. To what extent? Mm -hmm. No idea. We have no idea how honor's death really affects anything at all other than it totally could. I definitely like that thing you just said, David, though, that Nail isn't counted as a herald yet necessarily like i wonder if the thing that ishar did to pin the oath pact onto you know town only Mm -hmm. like that's maybe not easy to undo in a sense i think i think it would probably take ishar to undo undo that you know and so like maybe or or dalinar or 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 yeah yeah, yeah. a bondsmith Yeah, Yeah. yeah yeah so maybe or Navani. That or Navani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Avanza. Yes. Maybe that just prevents them from drawing honor stuff. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily an active thing that honor always had to do. Um, I'm like, I, I, not this, like. He, I I think it's like it requires like permission from like the source. Right now, there is no one to provide permission. Like, sure, but like, couldn't you have it set up like a miss thing where it's just like I am 
yeah, I'm creating these specific channels for this power to flow through. And, you know, when the these people activate it, then that just happens. Like, it doesn't necessarily need honor's permission, right? Like, I, I can totally believe that that could be the case. Like, uh, obviously, I have no idea, but it could go either mm -hmm. way in my hand. Like, I feel like there's a wob that I'm going to do search for, whereas, like, that does say, like, the Heralds can no longer do this for some reason. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I think just what I'm thinking is that maybe town can, but n the others can't. Because I think of town what they can. Do. I think town still can. I'm still waiting for a town moment in if this. If he last gets his book, honor blade, where he's, gonna, where he's got. Well, I still think he might have it. Like I don't even know. Yeah, I don't. I. That's a mystery. That's like what is going on for town's honor that. blade? Yeah, yeah, seriously, that has not mattered for so long. But. It, it's a subplot of a subplot. <laughs> <laughs> uh the the thing about nail not being a herald yet again quite uh makes me th so the frustrating thing about the oath pact <laughs> is that there are several not entirely independent components that historically we've been talking about as this is part of the oath pact when i don't think that all of these these things are necessarily right we've made so, assumptions the, in the past the connections between the heralds that doesn't seem to be a part of the old pact it's it probably happened at the same time that the old pact happened but the fact that kalak tells us old pact was broken but the connection still remained it was like weak into the point of destruction but not destroyed is my opinion yeah like it I, that has to be the connection between the other heralds because that's yeah. what the heralds felt on Braze and they could share the pain, right? Like, isn't that and I, I think the Oath Pact and any anything like that on Roshar is inherently going to involve bonds. And if it's not the bonds between the heralds, I don't know what bonds it is. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And the cage full of spirits, like I think that I think that's very literal, and that's what we're seeing when we see them. We see the lines running between them. But yeah. okay, regardless, <laughs> what, what, what I'm what I'm what I'm driving at is that I think that Nail is currently not in a position to, for example, to to do herald things such as initiate an isolation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Agreed. that I'd agree with. Yeah, yeah, his. Uh, permissions have been deactivated. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah he's yeah, he's yeah, a regular yeah. user now. <laughs> yeah. 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 So he he still has an account, but he doesn't have full mod permissions. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 He's retired staff. Obviously, uh, <laughs> he has some effects, but you know, can't do, act. He on know it. he knows how things are, are are run and and what's happening, but um. So I think I found the wob that gave me the idea that I had. Okay. And what mm. does it say? Which Ian? is from. The Arcanum Unbounded Hoboken signing. Oh, great. Oh, the best. Hoboken. <laughs> <laughs> that, by the way, for those of you who don't know, we, we've mentioned it a time or two. That audio is famously like the worst and uh, Jafu, yeah. a saint among mortals, yeah. managed to get some useful information out of yeah. the, that horrible audio. I, I found the wob and it says, <laughs> no, it, it's even worse. It's even worse. But also, apparently, Arkham Unbounded came out in 2016. Yeah. That seems fake. It does not seem that long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six years ago. But um, this is a paraphrased wob. Oh, even better. Yeah. There was a point when the Heralds didn't need to draw Stormlight from gems, although Stormlight in gems predates Honor's arrival. Okay, yeah, so that doesn't say anything useful to like but even if that <laughs> even if that was exactly what Brandon necessarily said, that doesn't mean what you thought it meant, right? No. But like I, I mean it feels like this implies that they do need to draw Stormlight from gems. Because there was a point where they didn't need to do it. And that okay, you could you could you could like wordsmith that. I would not be surprised if it did not say exactly that when Brandon yeah. said it. Yeah, but I I still think Talon can do it. To me, Talon is like the single valid herald herald that exists. Yeah, absolutely. If any of them can do it, it would it's, be it's Talon. Yeah, and, and yeah. like maybe it would be a bit difficult with Honor dead. Like there is still room for Honor's death to matter potentially. Uh, mm -hmm. but 
I, I mean, I do eventually want to see a Harold be a total badass Harold. A Harold. Like, yeah, like that's gonna be awesome. I know it's gonna take book eight, nine or something, but I want to see that, and that's gonna be sweet. I I feel like I disagree with a lot of what has been said, okay. but I don't know why or what the <laughs> alternate explanation is, so let's just move on. Like, like no, with it, sorry, with like Nail heraldness, like his current status of heraldness, like if he can draw like, stuff from honor. I'm just, what are you disagreeing about? You don't need to know mm-hmm. why, but I'm just curious what you're disagreeing about. Um, I think partially like Nail's heraldness, and with like, um, okay, this is gonna sound weird. I feel like we are overcomplicating the oath pact. And when Never. we find out what it is, it's going to be a lot simpler than what we're God, making I hope it seem. So. These desolations I feel seem like really that's... complicated. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's true for almost everything. But especially this. I don't think so. To, to I think it's fair, gotten more complicated. I mean, have I, you I seen Shallan's past? Like, uh, that, yeah. yeah. There's no Occam's razor going on with that thing. No. No, Occam is dual wielding axes to get in there. <laughs> and, and, and he's just stabbing himself in, in pain. <laughs> can, can, can someone draw some fan art of Occam dual wielding like battle axes? I know there, there's not a lot of they Occam like... fan art in, you know, <laughs> weird. Instead of, instead of axe blades, they are like razor blades. Yeah, nice, nice. Like for shaving razors. So, so another aspect with the heralds that's new is uh, the memory issue. So we, we, we actually kind of get a lot on the memory stuff that, you know, Hoyd's put memory in breath, right? And we have this epigraph that's like, ah, Midius told us. We, Midius is Hoyt, by the way, if you didn't know. Uh, this, this, this episode has gone so in the weeds that it's like, oh, we should probably explain things to audience members that it's like, have no idea what we're talking about, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Midias told uh, Kalak that they could use Investiture to enhance our minds, our memories, so we wouldn't forget so much. Which is seemingly not what Hoyt is doing, right? Yeah, I was going mean, to say, actually. May- maybe, maybe he is, and, and he probably is to an extent, but what's happening mm-hmm. here is... He's telling them, hey, you can enhance your mind so you don't forget as much. When what he is doing is he's dumping memories in, in what is essentially copper mines, right? Yeah. But it's, it's yeah. breath mines. There are two alternatives for things you can do to lessen this problem that we have seen. I think you can do um, like a mental fortitude. I forget which... Uh, metal that is Ooh, chandra it's blessing a, 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 a emotional fortitude or something Ooh, baby the blessing uh, of stability yeah, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well, yeah. Presence, presence and no, stability but, yeah didn't there, expect that a, to a, be a, in this episode did you <laughs> <laughs> there, there is there is a ferrochemical metal that put in the there comments if you remember the blessing fortitude of stability. and there is mental fortitude and i have thoughts about the difference but um that's, oh, that's a thing that's, for <laughs> oh they're they're weird <laughs> Put your comments below if you remember the blessing of stability on this Rosharan episode. <laughs> so, so a copper, copper hemallergy steals a mental fortitude, oh. and zinc hemallergy steals emotional fortitude. And I think we're looking at mental mm. fortitude here. But alternatively, yes. there is copper ferrochemy, which is a different mechanism, but could also help. Which is sort of like also the breath thing, which is just actively storing extra memories. Sure. Sure. I like that they're the same. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, kind of my interpretation of that is that, like, it's less that, like, they're forgetting so much. It's that, like, there's so much stuff packed into their memory banks that they can't sort through them. So it's like, well, I can't find that memory, so it might as well be forgotten. Which... It's hard to ex- explain in an epigraph than Brendan was probably trying to go for here. That's what I thought as well. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and I might still be in that camp. Mm-hmm. But other epigraphs, uh, or maybe just random ramblings of Kalag, but I think it was in the epigraphs, suggests that he is actively... be uh, He's unable to, like, remember... 
how he was and who he was, not, not who is, as in identity, but who is in personality, mm-hmm. how and who he was back in the day. So it's, yeah. it's it, not the specific memories that he's struggling to find, but more, hey, the first thousand years of my life are a blank. Yeah, like the first one is words. I used to be good with words. I used to be good at a lot of things. So, I, like all of this is oh, all about memory. Yeah. Like you're looking at these epigraphs. Uh, this this all to me feels like a natural consequence of spending thousands of years being tortured. Like, yeah, definitely. So you think help. it's not the memory and just more the the insane torture? I'm I'm saying like like. If you spend thousands of years being tortured and develop, like, probably horrible PTSD, like, you're going to have probably issues and be like, the person before that time feels very distant. Right? Like, yeah. I. This doesn't necessarily. Like, I'm sure there is a magical component to it, but this doesn't necessarily, to me, need a fully magical explanation. Can, can I read the two epigraphs right after the investiture enhancing our minds because sure yeah because the context the immediate next epigraph is why would i want to remember and then maybe if i remembered my life i'd be capable of being confident like i once was maybe i'd stop Mm -hmm. vacillating when even the most simple of decisions is presented to me so Mm -hmm. like he seems like with that context, like I, I absolutely agree, the torture is relevant, and those memories are help. not fun, right? I I do agree, but I would say in context of those epigraphs, there is clearly a memory issue that is causing problems, mm-hmm. like just that he is forgetting things, and that's uh like a big problem. Like all these, we we don't have time to go through all of these part for our epigraphs. I'll put them in the description. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah. it, it is a very strong implication. It's like, wow, I don't remember anything. Like these centuries are going well, by. I don't know. Like that's like, that's not like the impression I got. Cause like the issue there is like, he's vacillating. Like he's like, he's hoping like maybe, maybe if I could like sort through these memories, like, and like who I was before, like, but he's having an issue, like being com- not confident, but like, making decisions which i t- i think yeah. ties into like his insanity yeah that's that was okay. more what i was getting at i think yeah. like the the memories i think anyone who lived for that long would have issues remembering things naturally because that's like okay sure. yeah. yeah and and also there is a component of the trauma he went through but there is also a separate herald specific insanity Mm-hmm. That is like sort of unrelated to that stuff. That's yeah. interesting that you say that because to me that reads like Calic is saying, you know, Calic's thing is his is his indecisiveness, from my understanding, is yeah. his specific mm-hmm. Herald Madness. And he's saying, I think because of these memories, I can't make up my mind anymore. And he at least seems to me to be pointing to drawing a straight line between the memory issue and the Herald Madness in this. I don't know if he's right, but to <sighs> me that's what it reads like. Yeah, I, I I do think they are related, but I also like want to point out that like there's a theory that the Herald's insanities like are related to their divine attributes. Ooh, baby. And like Kalak Virtually is virtually confirmed at this point, I think. Yeah. yeah. Resolute builder. Like that's like a decision maker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like he sure. can no longer make decisions. Mm-hmm. I I do think that I think about the memory thing a little bit differently than everyone else mm-hmm. seems to, and that I don't know if they're having, like, I don't think the first thousand years of their lives are a blank, like Archon no. said. Like, Ash no. wouldn't be able to be giving some pretty specific Yasta, like, oh, I don't remember anything about the Oath Pack. That was my dad and Ishar's job. And, like, <laughs> she's able to answer specific questions about, like, oh, these specific battles Yasta wants to know about and how it went. I feel mm-hmm. like they have, sometimes they have trouble sorting it, so they probably can't always answer that. But I also think. Mm-hmm. They're kind of like, I think they're like, they remember big stuff, but they're losing, they have no sense of time. Like we see yeah. Nail when he is flying with the, with the skybreakers that he's like opening up these caches and he's like, I just put this food in here. And it's been like 30 years and he has no idea how much time yeah. has gone by. Mm-hmm. So I think like, I, they're not making new memories yeah. of just like everyday stuff anymore. At least not and, easily. 
Mm-hmm. And I guess my my thinking, and maybe this will explain it better, is the memory issue is a function of being old. It is that something that any human who is old, like Hoyd, would suffer. The insanity is specific to being a cognitive shadow. Yeah. Uh, or I don't know maybe about this specific cognitive shadow? Yeah, but it's something like like Kelsier might come up against, but but it's not something Hoyt would come up against. Well, they they were worried about Kelsier having yeah. an affliction like yeah. Harold's, but I mean, well, we don't know what that affliction is, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fair. I have an idea because, like, humans they have short term memory and they have long term memory. Mm-hmm. What if, like, like long term memory for the Harold's? pretty much full at this point so like what if like part of the issue is like they are having trouble conververting short-term to long-term memory as like like sort of like an explanation for what's going on very Uh, like dumbed down simplified sure so it's like oh yeah like they make sure to like keep the big things and like probably have to delete something somewhere but like the little things are slipping away, keep perpetually slipping away. I I, th- I think it's it's just the same thing that happens to people when they when they grow older, but like times a hundred, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, as as you as you like the whole thing with the days blurring into like you still remember your you know like your weddings and anniversaries and and family mm-hmm. deaths and big mm-hmm. events and things like that, but like all the days where you just kind of do the same thing become the same thing. So All the art stabbing days, all the <laughs> hanging yeah, out and drinking yeah. at the palace days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, mem- the memory thing is interesting because like how different would the heralds be if they were able to do this investiture? Also, it is just interesting that all of the Rosharan magics aren't really like mental manipulation things. It's like, oh yeah, mm-hmm. none of them are, which is just kind of funny. Yeah, uh, I like, but I feel like that's in keeping with honor, like, because like mental manipulation generally not an honorable thing for which I, is very yeah. much a doylist perspective on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like I understand why Brandon didn't do that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. It, it's I, just interesting that there's not like, ooh, I'm the herald that has mental magics and things, right? Yeah, he didn't. But, really I, but ironically, it, it's one of the things cultivation does, right? Yeah, that, that, that's, Fli- that's, that's flipping people's perception and and things like that. Okay, yeah, that's a fair point. Do you think? Oh, completely, completely, uh, random. Do you think any herald tried to go to the night watcher and be like, I want oh, to yeah. like no longer be insane? That'd be cool. Maybe Cultivation would talk to them. Like, I mean, Cultivation would know who these people are, obviously. She'd be like, no, I've got my plans. Back to as you were. Yeah. <laughs> One thought that I had that I was thinking about when Grace was trying was drawing a distinction between the memory madness and potentially the side effects of being a cognitive shadow. While I do think that I'm okay with agreeing with Calic for now that potential if if at least with agreeing with my read of what Calc is saying, which is that the memories are what's kind of triggering his madness potentially. But I do think that the specific flavor of the madness might be something that's being influenced by the cognitive shadow, by the perception mm-hmm. into resa- into being like an upper, like a, a inverse of his her- heraldic attribute or whatever you might think, because there's mm-hmm. not really a direct connection between memory and decisiveness, you know, like that isn't, sure inherently yeah. lead from one to the other so i think that mm-hmm. the specifics can be informed by cognitive shadow shenanigans i agree with that sure i mean i i need to look at the wops but it, it this, this might be like me just head cannoning things because mm-hmm. i've been championing this theory for a while but in my mind it is a fact that all of the madnesses are related to to the divine attributes people I think perceive the heralds in a certain way they're kind of like spread, the perception affects them. And the way the, the way that the people are going to perceive those heralds is going to be tied to their divine. Like that's where the divine attributes come from. And mm-hmm. so yeah, all of them are gonna be in some way related. Yeah, but I don't think 
that like the perception of other people's is what's causing the madness. No, no, I think it just informs like, how it presents. It's like shady, they yeah. like sure. they are like in one way you could think about it like they are being people. The mental pressure on them is people seeing them in the form of a leader for Ye- for Jezrian. And the madness is he is not he's trying to follow that, but it's not working. You know, he's doing something completely in the inverse of that. He's not responding yeah. to the pressure appropriately, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It it will be really interesting to see whether we see that with Kelsier, because he is in a similar position where he's a cognitive shadow and people have certain beliefs and expectations of That's him and he true. might be around for a long time. Seeing him mm-hmm. evolve over uh like i don't know how long it's going to take to get to air four but i i that would be really cool to see that effect another few centuries at least probably yeah. mm-hmm. though if he has fair Kimmy, then you know like then the, some of the memory stuff is not going to be an issue but there still could be some effects um, yeah oh oh and also one final note did Hoyd tell them they could reinforce their minds with magic, but not help them do it? Or yeah, like, why is, are they not trying weird. it? You know, that I'm is like, weird. He's like, here's the answer to your problem, but you figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but like, if, if Kelsier can compound, well, I suppose you can steal mental fortitude. I don't know that you can store mental fortitude, but... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Similar you to me, I'm weird. Yeah. He can burn a spike. <laughs> sure. Oof. Uh, speaking of Harold m- memories, let's go with that segue there. Uh, let's talk about the things that Dalinar saw with a uh, nail when he when he touched nail and saw those those visions of the past, which is I I still just love the scene. It's really good. Mm-hmm. And um, I think my read at least was when we see them, it's like reverse chronological like starting from recent and moving to the past to further and further into the past as we go yeah. through that yes yeah, yes that's yes, yes. as well yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah because there's like nail cradling a child in one arm is played out yep and then he sees uh he's talking about laws um kneeling before a high spren that's kind of interesting if that's in reverse chronological order and then fighting on the battlefield necessary. fight fight Say really yeah, I mean, that could be like, I don't know, just nail and a high spren just reminds me of like, you know, him getting his spren, right? But like, that doesn't. Oh, I think that is him getting his spren. Yeah. So he must have had a spren for a really long time then. I don't know. I don't see why not. Like, he took his blade back quite a while ago, I think. I don't know how long. Mm. Yeah. But like, it was a known thing. Like, he was the only herald that joined in order. That's so it's like that was a bad. thing like oh, during okay. the desolation. I guess I thought it was more recent, but I, I don't remember why I had that impression. So I guess that's fair. I um, guess I, I had no idea. Yeah. Huh. Uh, and my favorite one, I think, is Nail talking with Jesser. Right. Like this one is so good. And and I think pretty clearly this is talking about Jezrian giving nail the opportunity to be like hey we have this plan to to like Mm -hmm. be heralds and like this is Mm -hmm. i am offering you this right and so but i just want to read this out because it's so cool i will take this charge nail said softly with honor do not consider it an honor jezereza said a duty yes but not an honor i understand though i had not expected you would come to an enemy with this offer an enemy yes but an enemy who was correct all along, making me the villain, not you. We will fix what we've broken. Ishar and I agreed. There is no person we would welcome more eagerly into this pact uh, than you. You are the single most honorable person I have ever had the, pers- the privilege of opposing. I wish that were true, Nail said, but I will serve as best I can spicy dialogue like some of the <laughs> oldest oh it's so good obviously a fact uh, yeah. yes fact. i something thought something much about this yes mm. clearly there was some some animosity between or or rivalry or whatever between mm-hmm. uh jezrian and nail yeah 
I want to know whether that happened, whether whether that rivalry was Ashenite rivalry or Rosharan the rivalry. Mm. The idea that just came to me as Eric was reading was what if like Yezrian and Ishar were like among the people who the leaders of the humans that decided to push out and expand yeah. into Roshar <laughs> yeah. and Nail was like one of the leaders that stayed behind in um, Shinovar and opposed that. Yep. Yeah, that, that was what I was thinking. Also yeah. in conjunction with Nail's mm-hmm. whole thing that the singers are the rightful rulers yep. of this land. Oh, yeah, land. yeah, that's that's fair point. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because uh, my initial thought was, and I think that's a equally valid interpretation and interesting is that it could be them referring to uh, Jezrian and Ishar initially being in contact with Odium and setting in motion this whole chain of events. And Nail was mm-hmm. like, "Guys, I think this is a bad idea." Yeah, and he was right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I yeah. I want to posit that maybe Jezrian and Ishar potentially uh, are advocating for Odium or something as human void bringers, whatever that even means. Uh, I I don't know about that, but uh, like there's there's a lot of s- potential sources for conflict between these individuals yeah. in. Mm-hmm. It, the post it, 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 it really all hinges on we will fix what we've broken mm. yes mm-hmm. that's a very interesting line is the is the broken thing you know the the ruined relationship between humans and singers and whatever atrocities against singers etc mm. etc et or is this ashen yeah right yeah. that just seems so implausible mm-hmm. that the heralds could what do i that. what yeah. i was thinking is mm-hmm. that what we've broken is like society society was left broken after the desolations mm-hmm. yeah because if they're talking about the oath pact then uh the humans have put into motion whatever events led to the fuse being elevated right because yeah. like this this is them making the pact to like prevent the the fuse from coming back over and over again. Fused mm-hmm. already exists at this point. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I like that, Grace. I, I, I think I, mm-hmm. I buy that. I do also like that the reference to a Jezrian nail disagreement and them overcoming it because I think it's a nice Windrunner Skybreaker yeah, was, like yeah. parallel mm-hmm. to have that same relationship Classic. exist between them. Yeah. <laughs> archetypical you might say even <laughs> yes <laughs> yes <laughs> but yeah isn't isn't that just so cool this is this is around the first desolation time period although what does that specifically mean before the oath pact is formed but so cool it, this this is these are these hints yeah. to back half things that we're not going to get for ages but i just eat up uh and and going going in the other direction, right? So we went most recent to to most distant, but going in the other direction, it's also interesting to just read the same things where we see this, and then we see a series of fights. So many, the Dalinar cannot distinguish between them. <laughs> That's true. That's true. He knows fights, and then many times, and then he kneels before a high spren. Mm. So that is that is after many many desolations, and then he he sits down and he he dictates some laws to some scholars, mm. which I, I a lot of the the ideals of the Knights Radiance are very nice, but I but I this one strikes me as particularly honorable in that hey laws have no morality in and of themselves. You have to be moral when you craft them. Ever must you protect the weakest, those who are most likely to be taken advantage of. Uh, uh, yes, the person, the person who identifies as a skybreaker finds this <laughs> scene honorable. Oh there is, there's, some, there's some lessons we can learn in modern society about <laughs> writing laws. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Go ahead, David. I wonder if this could be early iterations of those foreign rights that no, exist that's what later I was just oh, yeah, thinking. Oh, yeah. It's like, this is yeah, literally like right institute of a, a, mm-hmm. a right of movement. And I mean, it is oh, just yeah. funny 
seeing Nail yeah. say the law can't be moral. It's like, well, yeah, that didn't turn out super great for you, did it? Yeah. I another thought that I did have when you were reading it in reverse, Argent, is I wonder if you know, desolations are going on. Things are not going great. A lot of fighting happens and the heralds are starting to break down and Nail, who has sworn no oaths, goes to the high sprint, hoping that maybe this can help. If he joins the mm-hmm. order and he, and he like further constrains himself, he's trying to like rededicate himself to the law or whatever. And like, mm-hmm. it's his attempt mm-hmm. to bandaid the problem. Oh, Get, yeah, gets sure. some extra oomph mm-hmm. out of it. Yeah. yeah. And then cradling a child in one arm I, I, I think that's matters. just an, another fight, but more descriptive because it's the first one. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. Because everything else is significant. Everything else is significant here, right? We have the forming of the Oath Pact, and then a bunch of fights which just blur together. And then presumably Neo joining the Skybreakers. And then f- some structure law formation thing going on. And then we have this child, and then Nail stepping away from the Oath Pact. Yep. Do you think that that is Nail's kid? Um, How are you going with that? It's a possibility. I'm not sure if if I believe that possibility, but yeah. Can cognitive there's some child here? Open yes, question. the son of Tanavast, son of honor. I, I, I mean, like Tanavast. it's a definitive yes. Like it, it's, it's before. Co- before the Acherithium. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, th- there's just this. There's room for these weird herald bodies to be really weird. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. If if the Lord Ruler had kids, the heralds definitely could have had kids. Well, the Lord Ruler yeah, was the kind of shadow, And like, but... <laughs> returned can have kids. Yeah. Vena is descended from a v- return. But yeah, anyway, like, it doesn't, it doesn't even need to be like direct offspring like it could be i think it's important though i think this child matter yeah. to him you think maybe just to s- him i don't know if it's if it's stormlight significant but yeah. i think it's nail like, significant it, that that it, child it is be, why uh, Hestina's line is relevant <laughs> <laughs> sure yeah this is the suckling child actually in the death yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay anytime a child appears on screen i'm like is it <laughs> <laughs> yeah Odium's this champion. is the child champion yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It, it, it really, Stormlight 5, the the way we could get it in all 10 days is a time travel story. Like Endgame, obviously. Oh my god. If <laughs> that that would lose me. That yeah, would be absolutely. Be yeah. yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I, We're gonna go back in time and find Nail. <laughs> turn, turns child. out uh, Stormlight 5 is actually mostly about the first desolation that we never knew. It's 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 actually it's actually baby rays. So we have a time story, a time travel story inside a time travel story, and we now have to ask the question: If you could, would you kill baby Hitler? I mean, baby, baby Ray's. In Let's the go past? on the modern mysteries of the Heralds <laughs> and wrap this episode up. Hey, modern. Well, I, I think there's really, there's really two modern mysteries, right? Where are the other Heralds? Uh, and whereabouts of the Honor Blades? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with a little bit of what the hell is up with Genevar. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Flash, will there be new heralds? You never know. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, there is a line about what all. So, Nail has his honor blade. We know Ishar has his honor blade. Yeah. We Tolns honor blade got swapped out and was floating around somewhere. Yeah, we don't know where, and we thought the rest were in Shinavar. Well, just apparently reasons. that is no longer the case. Hmm. At least with Ishar's blade, I, he I, went and got his. No, there's a um. There, there oh, is a line there's another line, isn't there? Where the honor plates were. Mray says something, doesn't he? Yes. Mray says. Um, oh, he says. Plus, the honor plates exist and are poorly tracked these days, even by our agents. I thought they were all in Shinovar, except the one Moash wields. They were. Ooh, oh, oh uh, that leads to so like, much nonsense, Brandon. <laughs> I am not as convinced this is as suggestive of the blades having all left Shinovar as, as 
it it sounds like. Like, like all this could mean is that not all blades are still there true that, it doesn't fair. have to mean that all of the blades are gone yes but i think any number of them leaving shinovar is inherently interesting yeah I, to to me i feel like it's an easy answer that ishar has them like ishar got one he got yeah. the best one mm-hmm. that he can use to incredible effect and if any of the other ones tried to stop him he probably just used that stormlight stringy thing and tied him to the ground and then took him away <laughs> and <laughs> i mean you're not wrong why just steal one honor blade <laughs> at that stage right yeah He's gonna. He's becoming. He's becoming Aiden Alcium. He's bringing everything together. He's gonna bring all he's the honor blades together. Honor blades. You know? He yeah. only needs five for that to get all, all the surges. Like, yeah, every other blade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then you have. Then you have a competitor, Ian, that has the other. But he, but he can't. Other, he can't do that well, because because Jezrian and Nail yeah, are. You both don't of have both are, of them. Are so you can't get all the sur- ten surges. Can never get gravitation. Oh, you're right. He can never get gravitation. Yeah, rip. Until he kills. He has, he has to. He has to go traditional with that and like connect people to the force of gravity. <laughs> I, I guess mean, he maybe, could. <laughs> maybe there is something legitimately to it of the idea that like he took Tone's blade and blade, and there is some plan that he has to do something with these physical manifestations of honor's power. Mm-hmm. I mean, jokes aside. <laughs> He does kind of believe that he's honor himself or a nauseam. Like it's a little yeah. twisted in his head, but like I can see a world where he's like, these blades belong to me. They are for me to give out to my heralds. Mm-hmm. That's true. And so, he, and he's, you, he's very possessive. He's like, Earth here is my city. He, he's a lot of my. <laughs> that, yeah. that bond with the storm father you've got, that's mine as well. Yeah. yeah. I think I shall take it. Take, 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 he doesn't have a lot of. Take. Respect for other people's property, it would seem. Not, not really. <laughs> no. Yeah. I. How, I what don't does Nail think... think about Ishar's property rights? <laughs> That's our one area of contention. Mine. I, I don't think that Ishar could have been behind the initial theft of Town's honor blade because I don't think that that could have occurred quickly enough. Like I could see him having like picked it up at some point, but like to me, he he just came in contact with so few people that. And it would have taken time to be like, oh, like he didn't know where town was going to walk in, presumably. But mm. I, I don't even know about town's honor plate. I don't understand when or how that will become a part of the plot again. That one is so wild to me. Like the only <laughs> yeah. group of people I feel might be in position to do something about that are um the ghost bloods mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because they they just generally have agents and spies everywhere right because because town shows up at, at colinar and then collapses hoyt is there by the way mm-hmm. and then very soon after that he gets thrown onto a, a a wagon on the way to the shattered plains like there's mm-hmm. not a lot of opportunity to do things there yeah, and I do think with Borden being like Dalinar's loyal soldier, presumably the blade swap happened prior to them getting in the cart because if the blade had changed appearance en route, he would have been like, what the heck? So unless he's, yeah. mm-hmm. unless he's betraying Dalinar, the blade swap happened before they left from, for the Shattered Plains. Mm. Yeah. Maybe and even it's before not, they it's made not it like, to the palace or whatever. Yeah, potentially. You know, like... And I, I, there's a part of me that's always like, okay, maybe he dismissed the blade. He has it. But then I'm like, who would have given him a blade to walk around with that no one knows mm-hmm. anything of? Mm-hmm. Maybe mm-hmm. Nail. Mm-hmm. Nail has a bunch of blades that apparently he can pull out of nowhere for Helleron. But mm-hmm. can, can, can I talk about another mystery blade thing that, like, this is a wine that every single time I feel that this is really important in Rhythm of War. Okay. 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 Sure. This is Teft is confronting Moash. And Teft held out his weapon, Fenderana at his side, but the knife seemed tiny compared to Moash's weapon, the assassin's honor blade, the one that had killed old Gavilar. It looked wicked in Moash's hand, shorter than most blades, but in a life deliberate way. This wasn't a weapon for slaying great monsters of stone, it was a weapon for killing men. And 
that always like that is super interesting to me is this a thing where they needed a blade to murder some human void bringers way back you to me there's an argument to be made that you can think of singers as men you know sure. he, yeah they, that's they, fair it that's came fair. with it, it they created it before the thunder clasps before some of the larger more extravagant things and so sure for the first yeah. fight they didn't need a massive blade they were just killing singers and yeah, like that okay. was what it was for but yeah, yeah but okay. i i do think it's an interesting line and i don't think it has to mean that yeah yeah that's it fair feels to me like a shorter more a shorter blade might suit Jezrian's like fighting style better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just and, yeah. Maybe it's just here's, supposed here's to be the, ominous that Tef's gonna die in the next chapter. <laughs> like admittedly, because no, that's the end of the chapter. Be, but. Like, that's true. And here's another way to another thought about it is maybe it's not that it was designed for killing men, but Brandon is like hanging like a lampshade on this, and he's like, and maybe maybe it has been well, it, it definitely has been, but maybe. <laughs> it was used by a herald to kill a lot of men at one point. And it almost certainly was because there were some humans that joined the singers at various points. But I'm curious that's if good, maybe that's fair. Yeah. he's foreshadowing. It could be a foreshadowing of something unsavory done by Jezrian with Jezrian's honor blade. You know, they don't have any else. They could, if they decided that something was in their interest, they could do it. The only oath they had was the oath pact, right? That's, I that's think it's just setting up like the mood of the scene. Yeah, but that's yeah. boring, Evgeny. God. <laughs> <laughs> it's boring. I, but, like, it is... The, the description sets the mood for sure, but it is an interesting fact that most Radiant Blades are huge, and the yeah. Herald Blades are not. Or at least this one, right? Like, And the other ones don't look massively larger, at least no. from the canon art we've seen. His is that's particularly true. small, though. Yeah. Except, like, Tom's, which makes sense, because he's... well. Palms doesn't make sense to me either because why is it look why is it made out of rock like I'm like that's I don't even know we don't I don't even trust who that who could mistake that blade for any other blade <laughs> okay sure mm -hmm. um, but like he he's a larger man it makes sense he would have a larger sword um but we don't have anything that like the honor blades sh change shape over time like no shard no. blades can, no I don't right? think so I don't no. think so. They look. They recognize them in the vision, you know. Yeah. Or at least he recognized he recognizes Jezrians. For a little while, that was a theory because they were initially described as flowing, covered in glyphs, and people were like, "Well, Seth's blade isn't like that. Did it change shape?" But it turns out, it's no. just this blade kind of doesn't. This blade doesn't. Yeah, yeah. It's just it, all the other ones there. It seemed like it. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I mean. It, Certainly, th that is the easy answer where it's like, well, yeah, they didn't need to fight Thunderclass there because there weren't Thunderclass. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Another possibility Jezrian's blade came into existence first for some other purpose. And that's why I don't it's like plain. That. I don't know, but you never know. Um, Maybe. This is a theory I don't like. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to preface it here. Okay. This is my attempt at. A possible explanation. Okay. I don't like it. I think Ian likes this. <laughs> I don't. Put in your comments below how much you love the idea that Ian's about to say. <laughs> so, the Radiants do kind of blur the realms to an extent. Like, we see one point okay. Kaladin is able to look into Shadesmar. That, that... Mm-hmm. This sword has been used to kill a lot of people because Seth used it to kill a lot of people. Uh -huh. What if Teft is just sensing like the echo of that through the <laughs> spiritual realm and it's giving him bad vibes? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sure. I That's don't fine. like this. See, Brandon, I was just thinking more know. like Teft personally watched it kill people and knew that it killed people, so he's getting think, that yeah. bad bad vibes in a more natural, non spiritual way. Yeah, you don't, you don't. Why need... not both? <laughs> yeah, vibes can come from a lot of places. Look, <laughs> capital C connections come in a lot of forms. Uh, anything's possible in the Cosmere, unless you're a herald and a gemstone, in which case you have no connection to the spiritual realm somehow, which is still really weird. Yeah, that is a weird. Well, line. that uh, 
Do we have any knowledge about whether honor blades are lighter than they should be the way short blades are? Maybe it's just a practical thing. Maybe honor blades don't have that property, so they have to be made smaller. But they would, wouldn't they would still be made of, are. like, honor metal? Like, whatever yeah. god metal it is, right? Like, it should yeah. be a similar stuff. I mean, I think they're more pure than the spread blades, because those are a mixture. But Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I don't but, think the lightness comes from the material anyway. I think that's a whole, yeah. it's all part and parcel of the magic of a shard blade. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, wow. There's still so much we don't know, everyone. We don't, we don't know why these. It's almost uh, like <laughs> it's book four out of a ten book series. I was going to say it's also there are six thousand pages awaiting us in the future <laughs> that will have some answers. Hey, not with that attitude. Maybe it'll be eight thousand. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the later books get real I mean, long. You got to hit an upper limit. Like there, I do think that. I, I if if they stay the same length as as Oathbringer and Rhythm of War, we are looking at at about eight thousand pages. Oh, that's actually true. Yeah, because they're like twelve hundred. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sorry, Brandon. I didn't mean to asparage your ability <laughs> to write long books. I. I part of me still wants Brandon to nail a five hundred thousand word length book for book five. <laughs> Like I mean, uh, just, just you know, just because you know, be good. When else are you gonna have a chance to do, to do it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Why book, not now? Book ten. Yeah, book ten. Other, yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah. Um. Oh my God. Final thoughts. I don't even know where we're at, but we we talked about a lot of stuff. We did, yeah. haven't talked about where other heralds are hiding. Oh, I don't have uh, any thoughts on that though. With, uh, Chana what, Devar, uh <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh, That's my thought. Did we ever get anything clear about Polly? I think there uh, was that she was maybe in the Palinium, but maybe. I thought it was unclear. I don't think it's, we ever it's always got... Been unclear. Uh, yeah, I don't think we ever got, like, confirmation of that. That's, like, mm -hmm. a thing that people say they got a book signed. I don't think we ever actually saw the book. Maybe there was a paraphrased wob that said that implied something like that, right? They like, asked if they were the old the ardent, ardent, the old ardent yeah. that Shallan says looks like a herald walking among the stacks. Yeah, maybe she and Batar hang out. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> what, uh, are we missing other heralds? There's Vedal the, and Chana. Are Vedal and Chana. Yeah. So Polly, Vedal, Chana. Okay. We have no we have no information on Vettel whatsoever, uh, like where Wait. she is, right? She's got yeah. keys, Eric. Okay. Oh yeah, she has golden <laughs> keys. Yeah, and and the Which art is made silver is in her portrait. <laughs> excellent. Maybe maybe I should have that Vettel art be the uh, thumbnail for this one because that Vettel Very art cool. is fantastic. Um, Clickbait. Yeah, look, that's, that's what I put. Uh, that's why I put uh, Pali as Rhythm of War reactions one because I love the. <laughs> like the pally and nail end pages on rhythm of war i'm like damn like i'm into that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the art is pretty cool. yeah 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 so i mean we still have no idea uh what's going on with those um especially yeah, uh, i'm curious all. i'm curious what she her her oh, divine ahead. attributes are loving and healing. So uh, yeah. if they really are twisted versions, that could be problematic. Actually, she's the assassin in black, and she's actually been going around killing people on Western Roshar. I feel like I feel like Vidal is the the assassin. List was like a legitimate theory for a long time. Oh, it was, yeah, still is. Or maybe I don't know if it was, but or, or at the least, yeah. or at, or at mm. the least, she is a herald. Yeah. Yeah. This is a herald. Yeah, I've heard that yeah. theory. I, I don't know if it's like any specific herald. No, I thought it was Chana that people yeah. said for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. But you know what? Because I God, like it's loving. Hard to assassin. Oh, yeah. Cause, yeah, because she's like brave and, brave and obedient, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I like healing going to I'm murdering people, though. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's, that's a possibility. I, there was a theory that like she was the one like helping extract blood from people yep. in. Turns out it's oh, different heralds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think different heralds. I think in some ways it would have made more sense to me that it was Vedal that yeah. was Dova, but Brandon's gonna do what he wants to do. I am curious what like Batar like exists and now is uh, you know Teravangian's like last letter to his daughter was like don't trust Dova too much like 
She's not as sane as you think. And I'm like, where is this heading? Yeah. I've always been unsatisfied with Dova because it feels like it was just like I always thought it was Tara Vangian was lying. And I'm like, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. you did but, think that. Yeah. I, I yeah, thought like, that as it well. Didn't yeah. Seem plausible, like as a thing. Her her divine attributes are wise and cautious, and she worked with Teravangian and the diagram, and that is not good as we know now. So yeah. Very unwise. Hey, hey he defeated Odium, I'll have you know. It worked out <laughs> His great. Plan what worked. could go wrong? What could go wrong? Yes, it was always the plan for them to kill Odium. Yes. I I am hopeful that Brandon has some interesting plans for the female heralds uh with these. Hopefully. Because like the male heralds have all had cool stuff going on, and I want the female heralds to have cool stuff going on too. Um, we yeah, we definitely have focused on the yes. the sometimes inane exploits, Calic, of the heralds and of the male heralds. Calic's exploits role. have been the best of the heralds. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, I, I guess a, a final thought I'd have: uh, Calic is just so much fun in lasting integrity. Just like he's just, mm-hmm. I love him. And he's on our side now, which is great. Well, his his diary is fun. He himself is less so. Oh, I totally disagree. He's he's a great part of that that entire trial. Like he's constantly he's entertaining. Yeah, I love uh, that he's taking notes and he's like, "That's a good point." And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> he's, "He's so fun." Like he's totally insane, but reading it is really fun. How about that? Mm-hmm. Any other final thoughts? Uh... We're definitely getting new heralds. I think oh, that yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm putting uh, that yeah, marker down. I think we're getting new heralds. So yeah, uh, yeah I think we're forging the oath pact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Un- right. Unless unless they find a way to like do oath pact, but with no heralds, mm-hmm. that would have been the, that's the perfect plan is to not have them have a human weak point. But yeah, oof, 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 oof. Yeah, may may honor have mercy upon their souls. Whoever they may be. Well, I mean, Honor's dead, but maybe Dalinar will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, uh, oh my God, let's get on to Who's That Cosmere character? This character is from Roshar. Menace. Tia. Tom. Mraze. Void in drag on a horse. <laughs> it's time for Who's That Cosmere character? Ta. All right, everyone, you know how the game is played. <laughs> you send an email to WTCC at 17shard.com. I read each clue aloud to our uh, guests of panelists, and after each one, they will get a chance to guess who's that Cosmere character. Let's begin. Nice. Clue one. This character enjoys a fruit. Uh, Eric from White Sand. Doesn't he eat a thing of fruit? It is art. not Eric. Uh... Kalak. It is not Kalak. Yes. How about uh, a- I think his name is Asher, the herald from that that we always guess from that uh, interlude from. Oh Way of King. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Asher the herald? and Jaredid. The herald, not herald, the ardent, <laughs> the the vaguely religious figure. It is not that one ardent. Ash- Guys, Ash- we are Asher. so. I, don't, I feel like it's probably not Asher is the name, but no, Jaredid yeah. is one. There's Ashir. Yeah. It's a- Ashir. Ash- Ashir. Like, it's just a pronunciation yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I knew who you are talking about. Also, Thank you. Ev- I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm close. <laughs> for, for everyone listening at home, we are so extremely loopy for being here so long. So this is fun. Yep. We've recorded um, now. No, I'm um, always this loopy. loopy. It's nearly the been The Lord five. Admiral Delios. It's not the Lord Admiral Delios. Like, there were definitely people who ate fruit in the art in White Sand, right? Oh, wait, wait, This This was sent in by Ambrosio Will Read On. I think I forgot to read that. But oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> That's yeah. an appropriate first clue, then. Yeah. Clue mm-hmm. two. This character has a brother. Likes fruit and has a brother. Does Marsh like fruit? I mean, there's not Light fruit. Song? Seems- Fruit Do they have fruit? It one. is light song. Yeah, what? Hey. That was good. Nice. That's a good one. Yeah, nice. if it's if the first guess is it likes fruit, it's probably not era one Scadriel, David. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the Are one we? place I know it isn't. <laughs> there, there's like two characters in there that that survived long enough for us to have this information yeah. about. 
What are the other clues? This character is a main character. This character believes himself to be a f- themselves to be a fool. This character has died twice. Nice. Okay. Nice. And uh, I, I'm doing the patron priority queue for who's that cosmic character. You can send in uh, things to our priority queue. What are words? I don't even know. Uh, by being a herald on Patreon, you can also have your name at the end of the video. So if you want that, then you can give us money <laughs> every month. Thank you. We're tired, people. <laughs> it's been I'm almost a master four hours. salesman. If, master we five delay, hours. if we yeah. delay just a little bit longer, we can hit the five hour mark on this. No, recording. no, no. But it's a milestone. No, God. No. I mean, I'm pretty sure uh, some of our uh, WAB episodes we've we've gone for five five or no, more no, no. Hours, I'm, I'm, but I feel it's like not we've a milestone we've never at one point. Yeah. <laughs> It's not a new milestone for us. It's just a milestone you know, for today. We it were was, doing pretty well today. No, 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 no. And it was the Dawn Shard back to back recording episode. I was oh, there. That I was, remember that. That was, <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. It might have actually been this crew that was there. <laughs> That I don't even remember that one. I must have blocked that out of my memory. <laughs> yeah. I, I, the I, things we do for you, viewers and listeners. Yeah. yeah. We 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 torture ourselves on braze now so we don't have to later. <laughs> yeah. Uh okay, this one is sent from Jester Lavore. Oh, that's a name I've seen a lot. Hi. Yeah. Oh. It's like they're heralds on Patreon or something. Uh, it's like just like that. Clue one! This character is a religious figure. No Hadan. Kelsier. Not no Hadan, not Kelsier. Wern. It's not Wern, no. Um, I think his name is Sinalon. He's like the head of the Karate no, Church. It's not the beautiful hair guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hair he's guy. very pretty. <laughs> I, he, he's a very memorable character. He's one I actually remember. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna commission art of this man. Yeah, I don't think we have art of him. Yeah, no, we totally should. Uh, we, we need less scenes on our hair on our copper mine commissions and more just like we just need some info box art, you know. Yeah, I, I guess I wanna... strong Ethan from Cradle vibes. In terms oh yeah, hundred hundred percent Ethan. Yeah. Clue two: This character is a criminal. A religious figure and a criminal. How smooth is this character? Mm. Vasher? Not Vasher. That's good. What That's about guess, though. Cop, brother Cobsall? It's not Cobsall. That that definitely did, applies. Did, did anyone guess Kelsier? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my first guess. But really, okay. any of that Arrow One crew, right? That's true. That's, that's true. true. Yeah, that's true. Religious figure and a criminal. All wow, that, that is, really is with everyone. With Vin, Vin. Not Vin. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to not guess one of the originators. Ooh, the originators. Not Ooh. the preservers. Or whatever their other the other name is. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Those which are technically slightly not the same. A religious figure and a criminal. Yeah, that's a that that's a good dichotomy of two clues, though. I got. Yeah, say. I I really I really appreciate that. We've gotten vaguer clues for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like th- this, this like really shows something about a character, you know. Dalinar. <laughs> Not mm. Dalinar. He is a war criminal. That's true. Mm-hmm. Clue three: This character can use magic to appear differently. That's gotta be one of the returned, right? Denth. It's not Denth. I'm Shalon about is not a religious figure. <sighs> I know. I'm well. I, now I'm thinking like Lightweaver. I'm trying to think if there's any Lightweavers that were religious, but I can't think of any. Mm, mm. Oh, okay. So now we're we're close. We can never give you another guess. All right, we gotta get it now. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna just steal his guess and go with Shalash. It's not Shalash. Okay, good. Oh, I'm gonna guess. Oh. <laughs> Well, did has anyone guessed Shal? No, she's not religious. She's figure. not a religious figure. That's the thing. Although she is, but she's a light eyes married to a high prince, and the high the light eyes are religious figures. <laughs> Do you like, that is, are they? A literal? Yeah, they are. They are. They are supposed to have the power of the church invested in them. And the artists do all this stuff for them. Well, I high, I will oh, guess. High. I will guess a Sazed because he can like change his weight with a favor coming. 
Oh uh, no, it's not salsa. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna guess Shalon because I can't live with myself if it's not if it's true and I didn't guess it. It's not Shalon. Okay. I appreciate that though. Uh clue four. This character has a distinct naming convention. Uh, oh, this feels like we should have got it by now. These are good clues. I it is just a returned, and I don't wanna I don't wanna guess a return. Oh, you think it's a returned? Yeah. Um, I guess, hmm. there's several more five scholars to guess. <laughs> we don't know if and any I mean, like criminal, anyone in the we court of nothing gods. about. We don't know anything about the five scholars' past, though, aside from Fasher. Like we don't know if. I mean, De- someone guessed Death, didn't they? Yeah, hey, we I know that Yeasteel was good oh, at wait, sneaking. There. Okay, <laughs> he could <laughs> he have been sne- a thief. Yeah, he was sneaky. Yeah, maybe. He probably trespassed. Maybe. A unique naming convention. Ah, uh, Shashara. It's not Shashara. I I think I think the the whole Twilight Falls thing classifies as a crime. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, that's probably a war crime. Put your comments below if you think the Battle of Twilight Falls and using Nightblood to evaporate all those people is a war crime. Probably. Some of them were lifeless. So it's it's changed their appearance at will. Uh, or- sorry. Uh, this is. Can use magic to appear differently. Okay, can use okay. a magic to appear. And what was clue four? Uh, this character has a distinct naming convention. Okay, okay. See, because I'm like, oh, we park. It's not Raiden. Okay. I'm see. I'm thinking Condra now because they've okay. got distinct naming mm. conventions. Yeah. Okay. They've got. Okay. They can change their appearance. Uh-huh. Religious figure. Uh, okay. What was the other clue? Ten soon. I was thinking ten soon. Ten yeah. soon. It uh, is criminal was one of them. I will I will give it yeah. to Grace, but because he's I was the only all... one who was I was like, you said criminal. It's like, okay, he spent time in the Cantrell prisons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, good, good, yeah. good, good. Clue that five. was a good clue. Clue five really narrows it down. This character has a toy modeled after them. She's <laughs> 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 like, yeah, that, that does check out, doesn't it? Yep. Um, it's the Wayne action figure. Though query whether Chandra are using magic to adjust their appearance, or that's just a physiological thing designed magically. They're using yeah. hemallergy, though. They wouldn't be able to do what they do without but, hemallergy. No, but they just Mistreath, turn into big slugs. Mistreath still changed their appearance, I would say. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's like the hemallergy <laughs> is just giving them if a it was, mind. If it was, can change their appearance at will, like... This is a good know. and valid clue, and I respect you, Ten Herald, who submitted this. <laughs> I think you did a good job. <laughs> It, it, it was, I would say, overall a very good. Oh, yeah. Like, it didn't phase you guys. So, like, I, I was just going to give a bonus clue if you guys didn't get it. That's like, mm-hmm. okay, don't take magic too seriously uh, there. Mm-hmm. But they can change their appearance or something, you know. And, and like, honestly, what but I, I will point out what the mysteries do. I don't think creatures should be able to do that. I don't know. That seems like an impossibility to me. Like, I feel like Rashek tested a little extra preservation on him when he made them. Yeah, but are they using magic if it's all within them? Yes. <laughs> the singers are using magic fan with the art form. of 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 Rashek Assault Bay sprinkling preservation on top of the the mystery. That's good. That's good. There you um, go. I, I it open question. That God, this is just giving me. Remember when we had the magical entities category on the copper mine? It's like, what is <laughs> yeah. a magical entity? As a I wish a I didn't. Entity? I I thought it was very clear. I don't even I, remember what I thought anymore about it. Yeah, I don't even know what I think it was. I think I was be- like, Singer shouldn't go in that category. Correct. Uh, so we fixed the problem. In, in case you care to know about <laughs> arcane copper mind lore, uh, we ended up deciding they're just all life forms, and that includes magical life, and screw it, we're not doing subcategories. So we Oh. Yeah, yeah, because Spren are life forms in this in this mm-hmm. scheme. So we, that way, we mm-hmm. just don't need to think about what's magical life versus animals. If like the animals also sort of have like magicness in them, right? Like, That's fair. When, when they have a, a yeah. magical bond with yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that was a fun tangent that had nothing to do with anything. But, you know, hey, well, what I mean, that's been these last two episodes of these where we talked a lot about stuff. <laughs> And I, Look, talk, I, right. I think we were actually surprisingly on topic most of the time. I, I, I agree. There was just a lot when, to talk when about. When we 
finished the content of the episode, yes. Since then, we have well, yeah. lost our minds. But but this is this is like the the so you know how at the beginning we have the hour of the hour of, of scheduled nonsense. Oh, this is like the it it this is that's that's the prologue. This is the epilogue. So we have an hour of scheduled nonsense at the end of the recording. Oh God, no. <laughs> yeah, we're not chatting after this recording. No, we we've been on the call for like nearly five hours. My wife has I, left to go to the stores and has just come back. No, I I double checked and it was in fact us five exactly who did the seven plus hour <laughs> double Dawn shirt episodes. So so nice. we are not allowed to record anymore. So so there basically we're 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 this is prime Shardcast crew here first. Like we get to <laughs> yeah. like this is this is. Deep shard guest. shard guest prime. Yeah. Seriously though, I hope you enjoyed it. We learned a lot. Uh, and you can find us on 70shard.com for all your news, discussion, theories, and fun that you could ever want. We have a sweet Discord server that has nearly 12,000 members, which is crazy. Uh, it's over 9,000. It's well <laughs> over 9,000, in fact. Uh, mm -hmm. And you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, YouTube. You can find us on Instagram for our art and stuff. It's very cool. You can support our Patreon for as little as a single dollar. And, uh, but you, you can give us more money if you want. <laughs> uh, and it's true, yeah, you can. You have, you, can. you have the power. You totally can. Uh, and yeah. As we, long as it does not break your budget. Yes, please do not do that. We'll, we'll be fine. This is not a full-time job. Uh, we're, we're doing this for funsies and, but. Even even if we are recording for five hours uh, <laughs> on a Sunday. Uh, all right, mm -hmm. bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Cheers. Ka.